Guys, I've got my second factory stock uh, Ruger 1022 here, and we're going to do a little bit of an upgrade to it. Um, it's just going to be the sights. Everything else, I'm just going to leave as is. This is going to be an iron sight gun, uh, probably most of the time. Now, the sights on a Ruger 1022 are okay, but they could definitely be improved. These are the fire sights from Williams. As you can see, it's got a uh, peep sight that goes into the rear on, on top of the receiver, which is kind of nice because it increases your sight radius, so that always helps with shooting. It does come with a front sight replacement as well, and it's got a red fiber optic insert there so that it's uh, easier to pick up that front sight. I got a, a secondary ghost ring sight, also with a couple of green fiber optic inserts. So, should make the gun a little bit easier to shoot and possibly more fun as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the installation. I won't bore you with all the details. If you'd like, I can uh, if you can, you can check out uh, a link the link below in the description box to a. A, a video by uh, Brandon 401401 and he can show you how to remove the front sight. The rear sight uh, just screws into the receiver. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so the first thing you'll want to do if, if you want to use the fiber optic ghost ring insert is you're going to have to remove this um, original peep sight that's on there. All you can do is remove that little screw and it's a tiny screw so make sure you don't lose it. Um, and then this whole thing will come off just like that, okay? Um, I thought originally that I would be able to use the aperture with the uh, ghost ring, fiber optic ghost ring, but it's not possible. So you have to either use your aperture sight or use the fiber optic. I think for myself I'd like to try the uh, fiber optic ghost ring for a while. And then I can always put this back in if I, if I want to do some precision iron sight shooting. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the ghost ring with the fiber optic sights, fiber optic sights and I'll show you what it looks like. So this ghost ring with the fiber optic inserts um, comes with its own little dovetail assembly. Now, the, the rear side itself already has an assembly, so you, you can do one of two things. You can remove this assembly and put the whole thing on there, or you can just keep the uh, original dovetail assembly on there and just take the ghost ring off, but then you have to make sure you put it back in, um, you know, right in the middle, dead center. If you're off a little bit, it's easy to adjust. This is adjustable for windage. You can loosen that screw and move it uh, left to right as you please. I think I'll just take off the um, ring itself and just put it onto the original um, assembly. And there is the uh, ghost ring with the fiber optic insert. I did my best to just eyeball it and get it as uh, centered as I could. I think I did alright. Yeah. Like I said, I, you can always adjust it. Just take your tool set with you to the range. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, should be close enough. Maybe... No, it's fine. Um, so this is ready to go ahead and install onto the um, rear of the receiver. And you can check out Brandon's video for that. It's pretty easy. I'll probably use a little bit of blue Loctite to secure the rear sight. I'm going to go ahead and do the um, front sight now. Uh, it might take me a while, so I'm just going to do it off camera and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, there's the rear sight. It's installed. Uh, just uh, be judicious with your use of the blue, blue Loctite. You don't want to put too much on there um, to uh, inter you know, so that it doesn't interfere with the cycling of the action. But uh, well, it's kind of hard to appreciate this on camera, but it's already a huge improvement in sight picture from the uh, standard uh, rear sight. 
Now, you can't use the factory front sight with this because uh, it's, it's not going to match up. So let's go ahead and do the front sight now. Yeah, that looks really good. I'll keep this for a while and then I'll try the aperture sight later uh, in the future. Alright guys, I finally got the old front sight off and there is the new uh, Williams fire sight front sight. You know, I would suggest go ahead and try the brass punch as you're supposed to, but if you can't get it out with the first few hits, just go ahead and go up to a steel punch. Tried the brass punch over and over again and it's just uh, not hard enough. All I did was manage to mushroom the end of the uh, the brass punch right there. And, well, it wasn't the prettiest install because I kept hitting it with the brass. I did kind of scratch up my, um, my sight there, but um, it's in there. Again, not pretty, but it's pretty well centered. I got it as close as I could. And, yeah, just use a steel punch, honestly. Um, so I got it in there, and let me show you what the sight picture looks like. It's actually a really nice sight picture. came out pretty nice. There's your ghost ring. Get that front sight lined up right in between the two uh, green posts, the green dots there. And there's your fiber optic front sight. But I hope you like this little install video. Um, sorry the front sight install was kind of nasty, but it's in there, and uh, for me that's all that matters. I'm gonna, it's a Ruger 1022. It's not, uh, you know, it's not some English double rifle or something that I would uh, take care of like it was uh, an heirloom or something. So, uh, well, anyways, I hope you liked the video, and I'll let you know how this thing shoots. Take care, guys.